Next to Peru. So, this is uh, all day basically. Fantastic drive. Gentle reminder there about the, uh, the sign back there. Uh, watch out for snow plows. Oh my god, it's not far away now. Before we'll be chaining up and crap. Oh well, it is what it is. Seriously, you've got it's fucking miles and miles of, 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 of since you get uh, since you get to the west side of the uh, Interstate 40, which is still cool. I like coming across the uh, all, all the big flatlands and that. It turns nice mountain all the way. It is a bit slower coming this way uh, if I go straight up the way because obviously I'm not making the speed, but the speed limit is 65 mile an hour on here and uh, well not through this bit, it's 55. So you know, you can still get going and the traffic's moving, it's not as though it's held up and it's still holiday season basically, but just towards back end of it. In three quarters of a mile, keep left on the Energy Loop Scenic Highway. Scale. Oh no, it's not. It's not open. That's all right. I don't think. Oh man. Is that scale open? Oh well, if I am, I'm sorry. The Energy Loop Scenic Highway. The way they've carved a great big lump out of that. Continue on US 191. They're not big into the bridges in America. Look, snow chains. Oh, I'm flashing. Um, they're not big into. Um, in, in, into tunnels in America. There is very, not very many tunnels at all. It's just like, let's just lob the whole mountain out of the way. That'll do. Move. Huh. I'm still in Utah. Obviously, it's a long way getting through. And like I say, if you come across the uh, western side of New Mexico, you get towards the end and then you head north of the 40, state 40, I don't know what the road is, you'll find it, uh, and head towards, uh, towards a bit of uh, Colorado there, and then head left into um, the bottom right hand corner of Utah, and you get all this. Beautiful scene. Absolutely. For miles and miles and miles. And I'm getting paid for this.
looking at the uh, miles I've got to do, I've still got uh, I've still got a thousand miles to do. Oops. And um, it is three thirty, half past three. I've got five hours left of today. And I really could do it to get there tomorrow. Uh, so I'm on the doorstep. But I've got a bit of, a bit of wiggle room. I've got to unload uh, my booking's not till 8.30. So by the time I get booked up and set off, I'll have probably two and a half hours on. Uh, I can I can boot it tomorrow and maybe get three hours on Monday morning in for to, to get there. So I'd be right. Towards out of the desert area and stuff now, we're getting more greenery. And this is quite high up, it's a high desert anyway, those other ones, so uh, that's why they get really cool. On a night, in the winter obviously. Long there. I don't leave the videos running. I always feel as though I'm boring you with running the videos for so long. But it definitely doesn't bore me. I, did, I never seem to get fatigue out here. I've never ever had fatigue. Well, a couple of times, obviously, if I've been pushing it like mad. But um, whereas in France and Spain, driving through there, I used to do that to Germany and stuff. It's, it's, it's the doing 55 mile an hour. That's the monotonous bit. But obviously on this, I don't know, I, it didn't restrict it. Well, it's going to the 18, but... Uh, basically, to be fair, I do, and I find that people do stick to the speed limits. You know, if they get off of me 80 mile an hour through the middle bits and stuff like that, like one stretch on the 40 I've just been on today, that was 80 mile an hour. You know, I respect that. So when I hit a town and it says 40, bang, I'm gonna do 40. I'm going to try and skim my little way through there and get that extra bit. Because I know I can open it up when I get out of that town. And I'm up to 65 on a single track road, whereas in, in England, and I don't know about France, I can't remember in Spain, you're down to 40 mile an hour on a single track road. Now that is ridiculous, but it isn't in some places because of the, uh, because of the traffic. Personally, like here, you find the traffic moves because the speed limits are the same for the majority of places. Same for trucks, the same for uh, for cars. So it all seems to flow pretty well. This is a bit of a drag up here. The Price Canyon. Say a command. Who asked you? No. Exit. Drop in one either. Why not?
So for the people who say to me, oh, I couldn't drive in America, all those dead straight roads, I'd get bored. Ain't been on many straight ones today. You always get the nitpicker though. Scenery, terrible traffic. <laughs> 